Hi my friends, today we model this part with the name blower housing and with this uh, drawing. You have here all the necessary dimensions. We start by creating this uh, contour radius 59 with a width of 80. New standard millimeter IPT start sketch. We use this plane and we create a circle with a radius 59. We draw a line, this line, horizontal, and we place it on the center point. Then trim. Finish sketch. Extrude 80 symmetrical. Good. Now we create this contour radius 100, distance of 81.5, then 42 and radius 15 at each corner. Let's do this. The same plane. F7. I project this arc. And I create a new arc. From here to somewhere and 100. Tangent this arc to this arc in this point. And on the same vertical, which now is horizontal, this point with the center point. We continue with that lines. 81.5 81.5 5 and 42 42 we draw this horizontal to that arc finish sketch extrude symmetrical 55 57.5 ok then we apply fillet of 5 for this edge then 15 to each edge around this uh, rectangle plus 4 millimeters for this and this edges good that uh, fillets are here radius 5 and here radius 4 and 15 here we continue with uh, creating this face which has uh, these dimensions and then to apply loft. Remember this distance 139 minus 81.5 is this distance. We create a new plane placed 
at 139 minus 81.5 okay this is the base for a new sketch a new sketch a rectangle this rectangle has uh, fillets at each corner fillets of 15 we place on the same vertical no we constrain this point to be in the middle of this but I have to project this I project this line and I place this together now dimensions this is 50 oh dimension this dimension is 52.5 and the other one is 72.5 finish sketch loft from this face to this face but with the conditions because I want to place them tangent on both uh, directions here is uh, a plane so I select this tangent condition you see now we have what we want to have this plane is no more necessary to be visible now we apply shell to obtain this uh, thickness of two millimeters shell two millimeters we cut this face this face and also this face okay then we create these two flanges with the thickness of four millimeters 150 on 80 80 is uh, taken from here so we turn back this uh, object we select this face for a new sketch a new sketch all of them are uh, construction also these ones and we place here a rectangle tab 150 minus no the distance between this side and the center point is 150 divided by 2 finish sketch extrude the other direction join of four millimeters you see this is okay then we place holes you see here diameter of four millimeters two rows of uh, 
four holes. Distances, dimensions are here. We create only one hole by placing a point here. Distance is 10 is this and 8 the other direction. 8. Finish sketch. Hole. 4 millimeters. OK. Then I use rectangular pattern for this last hole with direction this one but the other orientation how many holes four what is the distance between them 20 okay then I mirror the last two or three features about the plane XY yes okay the last problem is this hole of radius 15 we select the face we draw a circle radius 15 finish sketch extrude all the circle with cut all the way okay now I see that uh, this is too long let's see how is the dimension what is the dimension 81.5 from the center point and in our sketch <laughs> 81.5 from here not from the uh, center point this is a great mistake my friends 81.5 but we use a parametric software and we can modify almost everything let's see what is the volume now i properties physical update copy close drawing double click and this is the value there is a small difference at the fifth rank less than uh, one uh, decimal we consider this last value because this is what we made here the material is still carbon I make not visible the edges and we can compare now with the original but let me apply default lights yes now you don't see any difference that decimal is not important that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye